And <laughs> welcome to the Geek Listen Justin Podcast. This show where we talk about whatever we want. I am your host, Enterprise, with me, and sometimes we're going to be here. Zombie Felix. Zambie ass Felix. The zombiest. Yes. Okay? Zombiest. This is the latest we've ever recorded in the history of the show. I think so, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's the latest ever. So if Holy we shit. were groggy and fucked up, that's why. Yeah. Nah, but we could, we could, we could. Uh, coming back from our little Thanksgiving vacay, how you feeling, Felix? You good? Uh, yeah, a little bit tired, but swell. Did you do any Black Friday? Hell no. Yeah. Did you? I, you know, your boy loves the deals. Uh, yes. Yes, I you love, do. I love the deals so much that I jumped on the deals before there was deals and missed out on deals. You feel me? <laughs> Like, you kind of broke my brain. What the fuck? Like I went shopping the 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 f- not shopping, but I was like sh- sh- buying stuff because there like, were some deals on GameStop and all this stuff. So I got deals on uh-huh. Wednesday, right? And I bought some shit because I was listening to a stupid ass GameStop employee who lied to me. Why? How how did he lie? It was a girl, and I, oh, I, shit. Like, I got Call of Duty Vanguard for Christmas for Anton, mm-hmm. right? And I had a bunch of other stuff. I, pe- I I picked up that. I picked up the new uh, Marvel's Guardians. Oh, right? okay. I wanted Biomutant. Remember the little the little creature mo- game with the guy with the little creature with the swords. I picked up that. Picked up Resi Seven or Eight. Picked oh, up that. Damn. It was buy two get one free. A bunch of bullshit, right? I, uh-huh. picked up, I was trying to get bubbles a present or whatever, right? So I asked the lady, "Yo, is Call of Duty Vanguard gonna go on sale?" And she's like, I don't think so. It's not, right? And of course, I bought it. And of course, it went on sale. So I missed out on those sales. Motherfucker way. So I made a bunch. Of, I made a, I had to pick up other games. I was made a fucking mess, right? Holy I made a mess. Shit. I made a mess. It sounds like a mess. She, yeah. She lied to me. She said that the buy two, going free was only in store and they won't have it on Black Friday. And of course, they did. And my my Resi 8 copy doesn't have a cover. So she just gave me the CD. It's a mess. Um, gochi fucking nero, way. A mess. That lying bitch. And then and then I saw that they were giving fifty percent credit on GameStop. I almost thought of oh segway. I almost thought of trading in my Resident Evil cr- copy to get, to get a credit one to buy a b- new one. I was making a mess. I was gonna <laughs> buy you some. I was making a mess. It, wait, hold on. H- have you ever made this kind of a no, mess? Because I've no, never no, in my life no, heard you no. talk this kind of no. crap. No, God, I'm an expert, you know? I'm the deal guy. I'm the deals. Yes, that's but the I, problem with it. <laughs> I was so hyped on the what deals. The also, too, they usually give you like a little sneak peek as to what Black Friday is going to entail on the weekend uh-huh. leading up to. And there was none of that. So, there, like, you're going blind until Thursday, Thanksgiving hits. Then you can see the fi- the deals finally. Mm-hmm. But I, I couldn't see none of the deals leading up to Black Friday, and it was annoying. So I was like trusting the stupid lady, like, "Yo, are we good?" Like, "Nah, nah, 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 nah." I made a mess, made a mess. End up buying, <laughs> also buying whole other shit because I couldn't bu- bundle bubbles present with it. A mess, a mess. I made Holy two different shit, orders, dude. A mess, a mess. Spent around probably only fifty bucks because I had a bunch of credit. So I, you know. <laughs> Yeah, you know your boy know what he doing, <laughs> dog. There. Oh my god! It was like I mean, of course, of yeah. Course. It was like two hundred and fifty dollars worth of shit. And your boy only spent like fifty bucks. <laughs> <laughs> I got mine. Right. Don't get it fucked up. I fucked up royally. I got mines. You know, I okay, got mines. So, yeah. So you you shaved two hundred bucks out of an order. That sounds cool. You made it sound way worse than it was. But because this is how much of a diehard. As you, as you, it's a stereotype, but you guys call me Jew, right? Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm mad pissed that I could have saved fifteen dollars on Vanguard, you know, because it was, it went on sale for forty five, <sighs> and I spent the sixty five with the thing. I was mad. I was pissed. I was pissed just because of that. I was pissed because of that. Really, I was only pissed because. And the Resident Evil copy doesn't have a, a thing. Oh shit! Now so you I got gotta the, hunt down. You, you got a box, but not the cover. No, I don't even have a box. It's, oh, just, it's a, just a loose CD. She stuck the CD inside the Biomutant one. Oh, bitch! And I almost went like, because uh, you know your boy a collector now, mm-hmm. the collectiest, and and that's like gross, bro. Damn. Nah, but I I think 
uh, uh, some of my other cousins have told me that they they walked into GameStop and just asked for boxes and they give it to them. Really? Yeah. So I'm gonna try that. I'd be like, yo, I ordered it online. You guys just gave me a CD. You guys have an extra box of Resident Evil with the cover, nice and pretty, that I can take home. Hopefully that hits. Don't you have to like prove that you ordered it or something? I can. I just saw them the the the, the email. Oh, okay. It's not a big deal. Or show them the receipt or or show them whatever. Okay. I can figure that out. But yeah, I I'm, am I'm, hurt that I don't have a box for it. I'm like I'm like like scarred by by those kind of transactions in Mexico because if they give you something and you're like, Hey, can you give me a better one? Because you gave me a shitty one, they're like when did you buy it? We need the receipt. Oh, yeah. We need the photos. We need your birth certificate. We need your death certificate. And we need your mama's DNA test. And we're like, what? Well, fuck you. Yeah. I'll just keep my shitty thing. You're like, damn, I just want some napkins, homie. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And I'm not even asking for the good ones. No, no. Even some used ones that you got back Hey, there. give me some sandpaper. I don't give a shit. Yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. Uh, but it's, it's mainly because they know that they give out shitty like, ass boxes you know <laughs> you know that I mean? that's worse no i mean that's that's you provide that you know that's what you're providing that is like all oh, i want oh, is okay. a fucking box that you should give me no no but that's even worse that they know they're giving you shit well you i mean it sounds like something they would do i have the little thing where the cd came in it's just wild to me that how could you tr- how like, it's wild to me that they accept the cd like that like here, you need to give me the. I remember uh, store games. Remember that shit? Oh yeah, hell yeah! You need yeah. to have the manual. You need to have the box, and you need to have the cover art. And the CD needs to be from Pristine. very good to decent. If not, like I remember, I came home crying one day because some little bullshit cousin was fucking with the with my manual through one of the games mm-hmm. I wanted to trade, and I couldn't trade it because he was messing with the manual. Oh motherfucker! I was like you fucking bitch! He lost the little manual, and I was so fucking pissed. Yeah, I remember that, dude, one of the guys almost shat himself. Hmm. I think, yeah, I've told you this. It was store game. Oh. I went and traded it in uh, Final Fantasy XII Revenant Wings mm-hmm. for the DS. Mm-hmm. And That's the dude, one. yeah, it, it, and it was fun. And the dude did a double take. He looked at me, looked at the computer, looked at me again. He was like, this can't be right. He scanned the game again. And I was like, what the fuck? What's wrong? Is it not scanning? And he was like, oh, no, it's scanning. You have like six hundred and fifty dollars worth of credit in this game alone, and I was like, pesos, pesos, yeah, pesos. Sorry, oh, holy fuck. And I was like, what? And and I bought with that one and one hundred and fifty pesos more. I bought uh, Pokemon Platinum. So they gave you. He almost didn't want to. I know, but they gave you the full price of the game back in credit. Basically, yeah. Well, and not even the, the full price because it's almost double, right? Because the what was the what was the peso to dollar ratio back then? 10, 15, 20, 12? Uh it was I want to say nine. Eleven? Who knows? So they gave you sixty dollars, almost sixty dollars worth of trade credit? As well. Yes. Damn, that's crazy. So well, how it, yeah, much were they I, selling it for then? They, 12? No, and I, I bought it somewhere else. I think I bought it at like a, a Sears hmm. for like wow, that's crazy. twenty bucks games at sears i don't even that's not even unheard of that's unheard of dude my my mom gave me pokemon emerald and she bought it at sears that's wild that yeah those days are gone now oh hell yeah i don't think i've ever been i've been inside a sears but i don't remember the last time i saw games in sears in the mexico sears yeah they sell video games they sell technology and shit right now yeah who buys that? See, I guess people who can't. They're cross it. fucking expensive. I mean, they, they're, they're they, the we price. have. To, yeah, we have to pay uh, the import taxes and shit. But we, oh, you got on a department we, store. Yeah, it's wild. Yeah, in department store. And, and but you can buy shit. Yeah, it's wild. Yeah, that's why it's funny how people say like, oh, like GameStop is. Well, they they've established that reputation of being like super greedy and like they'll give you a penny for your trading. You need to know what to trade and when to trade. And your boy been studying all that shit for the past couple months. You have to wait for when they have the fifty percent crate trade credit, and you need to know what to trade. Yeah, fuck the stock market. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. I'm I'm studying a whole other lane of economics. It's fucking fun. I mean, I I, I built up around hundred and fifty dollars worth of state or store credit from thrifting and swap meet shopping, which I hopefully I could get to go to tomorrow. But I I'm at the point where I know what to look for. Like you would never think that we sports is is valuable. 
I wouldn't. Yeah, would, uh, if you didn't tell me, I would have never thought it. Wii Sports, Wii Resort is a giant one. Is a very, very big one. Obviously, all the Mario's, right? Even the most common ones. But mm-hmm. Wii Sports, like if you have that fifty percent extra credit, you can get up to twenty one dollars for that shit. Holy shit! And your boy be spending fifty pesos because they don't know what it is. And I'm like, how much? Fifty pesos, okay. Hundred pesos, I'll go. Okay, hundred pesos turns translate to around roughly five bucks. Or your stiff people in coin tosses. Yeah, or yeah. Well, you that was you. That was you. You fucked them royally, but that's another story for another day. But yeah, yeah, yeah fun. it's fu- it's fun. It's it's a, it's a fun little world that I'm tapping into. It's really, really fun to go hunting for mm-hmm. reals. I love that shit. Mm-hmm. I love going hunting. Like the thrill of haggling and shit. The haggling, not so much. Or just the finding. It's just the finding. The the flipping over a random box. And you're like, what's in it? And you open it and something dope in there. You're like, oh, La Verga. Like mining for gold and shit. It's really, really, mm-hmm. really, really, really fun. Um, so you just turned 30, eh? Yeah. It's uh it's really weird. You good? <laughs> uh let's say I'm still adapting to it. Really? Yeah. It's 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 like a like a like a bucket of uh, ice cold bucket of water. You're six days in, so I'm six days in, and, and I'm, already my brain is like, I'm 11 days start. out from becoming the 30 year old. So, yeah, and it's weird because in my head, I'm like, you're an adult now. Yeah. You should quit your bullshit. What and do you my consider bullshit? Your is bullshit? Like, nah, like slacking off and shit. Oh, I thought you meant like, like your likings in, in video games and movies. Oh, hell no. You think we're ever going to grow out of that? You know how, like, that's the stereotype, not a stereotype, but people would say, like, video games are for kids and they have, it has that, like, moniker. You think we're ever going to, like, grow out of, like, liking fucking Pikachu and Pokemon and, like, I don't Mario? really think so because we grew up with, we grew up with that. So did That's our entertainment. <clears throat> yeah. Th- but it's, I would like to say that us, our generation, and maybe the generation before us, since we were the ones that, like, grew, like, properly grew up with video games the generation before us what uh, was born in the uh, beginning to the mid 80s Mm -hmm. and then we grew up in we were growing up in the late 90s early 2000s so video games are a very big part of our culture upbringing and whatnot so i do not see us growing out of it Cause my uncle, shout out to my uncle. He plays video games still, and he's in his sixties. You know, my oh, dad neither? loves video games. You know, he was like excited for oh, your dad, Fly yeah. Cry, but that is because they've been putting out things for everybody. So I guess, I mean, I guess it just depends. Like, I don't think I can see myself ever not playing a Mario game. You know? Yeah, Mario's like a classic, like a uh, staple. I think I've, I know, but that's like one of the ones that you would be too kitty to play you know oh no but the mario's are the best because they're like the gateway drug i know and there's so many different kind of ones but i don't think there's anything else that is as kitty as that i play like in in bubbles case you know that bitch damn near 50 right and (laughs) and she was itching like a son of a bitch right because Uh i'm gonna spill a little tea because our cousin ado he traveled right and he's Uh the owner of the switch that bubble has been playing with yeah. Since it came out. Well, oh, what, my God. So what came out a couple weeks ago that Bubbles has been pre-ordering for the past six months? Pokemon Diamond and Brilliant Pearl or whatever the fuck. Verga. <laughs> so Bubbles was left without a Switch <laughs> for about... With the game. With, like, for after the game came out for, like, a week or two. So he bought a Switch now? He He had to. He went oh in looking for a God. Switch, and that was a whole ordeal. He had to hunt it down. GameStop fucked him in the in the shipping. Like they kept pushing it back and pushing. It. He was, he went through it to get that fucking switch. Holy shit, bubbles! And, and uh, you warrior. I sent him a message and he hasn't like he's probably not haven't blinked in the past thirty eight hours and playing Pokemon. <laughs> it's so I should well I'll do it off air, but or I I'll see if I can send it to you. The name of his character, Anton Anton. Uh, I sent it to Anton. I don't know if I can through here, uh, but he also sent me like his stats because he, he has to download his his like Nintendo thingy, right? Mm-hmm. He's talked about how much he loves Fire Emblem, right? Yes. Okay. Extensively. So it has the amount of hours played. Oh my god! What do you think? 
Over Bubbles 200. has amounted in hours played on Fire Emblem the Three Houses. Give I want a number. I, I at first I wanted to say 100, but that's too low. That's a way that's low. No, he told yet. us he was at 150 last time. Yeah, that's I remember that. That's why I, why I backed out. So I'm gonna say 250. You're more pre- than 250. You're pretty much on the money. 245. 245 Holy hours. Shit. Of just Fire Emblem, way. I Never in my life have I done something for that. I don't long. think you've played 240 hours of video games in your lifetime, way. Uh, well, Evil Within kind of counts as half of it. Oh, well, it felt like that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I can't find this. I'm gonna have to look for the f- picture of the name that he named this thing. I can't put it on. I can't put it on the thing. So it's, this is useless. But I wanted to look for it for for your. I think he took a picture of it on the Insta and it goes away. I hate that. Oh yeah, that sucks. Fuck, I hate that. But yeah, I, I I was thinking about that this week. Like, I wonder if I'm ever gonna not like video games, you know? Because I've seen too many stories of like, oh, I just grew out of it, you know? Or people are getting rid of their collection. I'm like, I'm I'm, I'm growing mine. <laughs> where I, where I should be getting rid of shit, I'm bringing in more shit in. <laughs> I'm doing going the opposite. Yeah. <laughs> um, but also, which is kind of weird because well, I've. I thought the the thought has crossed my mind of getting rid of my DVDs. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, oh, should I? Those are kind of harder to get rid of because you like you were kind of told that that those don't hold value. So money monetarily, you're going to lose. Oh, yeah. Oh, definitely. And but and I was thinking, oh, well, maybe I can keep the steelbook ones because those are the one I really, really, really love. Yeah. DVDs are like cars. The second they're off the lot, that's it. Uh huh. But then I was like, "Well, I can donate them to a to like a library or something." And then I said, "Fuck that library. These are my movies. Keep them. Yeah, keep them. You can show fuck them to it. your kids. Pass them on. Whatever the fuck you want to do." Yeah, I, ha- I I'm gonna have to keep a DVD player and service one because God damn, son. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was on the fence on whether or not collecting DVDs, but I think I'm gonna collect Blu-rays just to make it harder on myself, so I don't just buy a bunch of bullshit. You know? Yeah, you do that because I have uh, upwards of three hundred movies. Yeah, see, fuck. And it's it's fucking easy because twenty dollars, twenty pesos a pop, dollars. Twenty pesos a pop, got yeah, you it, wish it's it easy. Dollars. It's easy. Yeah, no, no, my mom's way. I I wish it wasn't dollars. Yeah, but I was also thinking of of like um, like growing up and changing and different things because I I, I played Halo for the first time. Uh-huh. Halo 1 for the first time. I played, yeah. as I mentioned before, I played Halo 3 with Anton. I beat that split screen. But on the Game Pass, they have the collection. So I, because the, the new one's coming, I'm going to put out a video on my personal channel reviewing it. So I, I, I beat that this past week. Mm-hmm. And when I play something that is over or roughly around 15 to 20 years old, right? What you mm-hmm. do to give the game a fair shake is I kind of try to put myself to that time and try to remember what's coming out and see how, if if, like the, the, the revolutionary impact of what I'm trying to review and compare it to what's around it to give it a fair shake. Cause if I put it up against the newest call of duty, it's going to fault in gameplay and movement and graphics and everything. And it's not going to have a chance. So it, it, I, I, that's something I, I try to do and I feel like I have the ability to do that relatively e- easily you know I can give something to pass graphically and, and and muscle through it I've done it and I'm going to do it even more with all this game hunting what I'm trying to get at is I kind of noticed or something stood out to me mm-hmm. and I was trying to like how do I explain this I was, In what like, way? it was just like a thought came up right okay how each generation of video games, of uh-huh. gaming, right, caters to a certain thing or mechanic. Okay. Right? Like, I get it. Okay. But- so, like, back in the day, in the very for early aughts of gameplay, it's just, like, anything, right? <laughs> anything Bring to it. entertain yeah. us, right? A little fucking, two little palitos, and they hit the little ball. <laughs> right? <laughs> yes. We figure that shit out. Then after that, they implemented, like, like a l- little bit of storytelling on different kind of things, but they were using your imagination more through just storytelling, legit. And you can go with uh, remember those text 
text based games. That's what I mean. Yeah, the text, uh-huh. the, the those, and then there was point and clicks. That was the big thing that everybody was doing point and clicks, and th- those kind of games that are sticking out. So, because my first real, real, real console is the N sixty four, I started this thought process with the N sixty four. So I go back and I'm thinking the N sixty four, and I'm like, I think the big thing back then that a bunch of games did was the collectathon mechanic. You follow me? Mm-hmm. So you got the Super Mario 64, you got the Banjo Kazooies, you got a there's a bunch of 3D platforming games. Not to say that's the only thing. Of course there's all kind of things. There's RPGs, but I feel like the N64 catered to that style of and mechanic. Where I get at is to the original Xbox and the PlayStation 2 I feel like shooters were coming into a groove. You feel me? Holy shit. It just dawned on me with the Super Nintendo. That was all beat-em-ups. Those were all beat-em-ups. Exactly. I couldn't think of anything before that. There was also pla- there's also platforming. Yeah, there's platforming and beat-em-ups. That's because I'm actually playing through a, a game called Legacy of Kane. Yeah. And that's a top-down kind of beat-em-up. But... Almost every game I have for the NES to play available yeah. is a beat-em-up or an RPG. Well, the NES and Super Nintendo was a lot of 2- 2D side- side-scrolling platformer. That was like uh-huh. it. That was it. Or it's either that or it's a beat-em-up, but it's, the beat-em-up is presented in a 2D side-scrolling platformer. Exactly. And I feel like for the Xbox and PlayStation 2 with shooters, like they were getting the groove on shooters. Yes, there's RPGs, there's other things, but I feel like... That's where the 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 move the, the the evolution started for the shooters. That's where you get your first Call of Duties ever was in the mm-hmm. fucking in the in those, and that's a big huge step. And then looking down the sights is one thing, and then you got the Resident Evils. Of course, there's other kind of styles and all that other stuff. And then we move to the PlayStation Three, and we get the implementation of online gaming. Right, that's where it hit mm-hmm. hard. The PlayStation mm-hmm. Three and Xbox Three Hundred and Sixty with the Xbox Live, and I felt like now in PlayStation Four. I felt I, I was I was struggled to figure out what was the thing there, and I couldn't come up with anything except for the jump to actual very good, deep, heartfelt, dope ass, legit storytelling. Oh God! Okay, you feel me? Yes. Like the storytelling with The Last of Us, God of War, even like Spy, like Spider Man. I feel like storytelling. To a is degree, a, yeah. It's is like the, the focal point. I don't know if I'm making any sense at all. This is just some stupid ass. This is why I listen to podcasts while I'm playing. Because if I, have, if I if I'm alone to my thoughts, this is the kind of stupid bullshit that comes to my head. <laughs> well, it's not bullshit because it, do, it does make sense. Because, uh, for example, if we, with a PlayStation, you have the whole storytelling shit because that's what they're carrying, catering to. And the Xbox One or the Xbox side is video game streaming. No, I'm. I mean, like the generations. Oh, N- not specific systems. So I'm talking about the the generation of the PlayStation Four and, oh, okay, and okay. Xbox One. I guess you can split it through systems too, because well, I mean, there's good storytelling in, in in that whole generation. I feel like, but what's the focal point? I feel like it's back to PlayStation Five. I kind of feel like it's online interaction again. You know, which I'm not that much part which we are not that much party to no i don't know if i'm making any sense because there's also very good storytelling and other other shit you know it was just like uh-huh. the collectathon i think that hits more with the n64 the collectathon game that's a that's a staple in the n64 and you didn't see that a whole lot in the xbox or in the in the in the generations following oh hell no and actually when you said that i remembered i have this uh game called jet force gemini yeah 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 I loved it, but I hated it with a passion because you can't finish a level until you rescue each and every son of a bitch white bear or whatever it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if you don't do it, you can't complete the level. Right. So I just rage quit it. I said, fuck you, bears. So I haven't touched it in years. Yeah. And it was, and it is a pretty good game despite the console and the shitty graphics. Yeah, yeah, it's a staple. Uh huh. It's a staple. I was just thinking of that. That the and, and then the the following uh, generation was the Xbox original Xbox PlayStation Two. I feel like shooters evolved 
the jump from a shooter from the N64 to the to that PlayStation 2 and Xbox generation, the jump between of the the, the jump in the genre of shooting is mm-hmm. just crazy. Just look at 007. You can't even play that shit anymore because it's so oh, no. weird to stop, press a button to then point instead of using because you're it's just weird. It's just really, 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 really well, weird. That's why the Metro Prime games are so hard to get to to get to play right now. Yeah. Because when I started playing the first one, my my brain was hardwired to you move with the left left stick and and you 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 point you you point the reticule with the right yeah. one. And with that one, no, you the whole control scheme is very strange, and it it took me. Uh, I have to say more than a couple of hours to like really, really get into it. Yeah. And I couldn't play any other game because it got me out of that groove. So I yeah. had to relearn it again. That's a big thing. Yeah. And it's and it's and it sucks. And that's why a lot of people are like, play every metric game for the Wii because it's easier, because it, it conforms to the new <sighs> mechanics. I couldn't play it on the Wii. I kinda wanna try it, but the other ones. I couldn't play it for some reason. I couldn't it just it gave, I don't get motion sickness, but I feel like that was getting me dizzy like a son of a bitch. Well, the Wii, control, the Wii controller is very sensitive. But, I mean, I played other stuff before on that. It's just it's just the move. I don't know. Something about I did not like. So I'd rather try it with a controller in my hands. I remember we played the Resident Evil 4 on the Wii, and you, and you struggled. Resident because Evil you 4. were getting like, okay, let's oh, turn yeah, this yeah, off. yeah, yeah. No, I feel like I, I breeze through that pretty easy. Like, I didn't feel creep, but that's a third person. See, on the first person, that's where it fucks you up a little bit. Mm-hmm. Speaking of Resident Evil, I like, speaking of all this, I, like, I, well, we, we'll, we'll circle all the way back around in like three weeks when we get to talk about the Resident Evil <laughs> movie. But, <laughs> okay. As much as of a fucking <laughs> pile of dog shit that is, I wanted to go back and play, not go back, I wanted to play dog where, shit. Well, we'll talk about it when we get to talk about it. But oh, Papa, I wanted to watch. I wanted to play the the first games that I've never actually played, and that's mm-hmm. like another whole different mechanic of oh shit, similar to 007 of the fucking fixed camera and the tank controls. But luckily, I have like the spoofy, beautiful version. Actually, mm-hmm. I got the box right there, and um, I was literally installing it today. Um, that I should be able to play through it, you know. Hmm. Because the movie did such a terrible job, I wanted to go back and see how bad they fucked up. And the thing is, is that from I think of the Resident Evil live actions, it's the best one. We'll get to it. We'll get to it. <laughs> well, I had the die hardest of die hard Resident Evil fans next to me, aka Crazy Guy. Well, let's just say it wasn't a pretty ride home. <laughs> oh, my girlfriend, I think hated me because we went to see that movie together. Oh, uh, so yeah. Yeah, well, we'll circle back around. Mm-hmm. Um, so we thirty, we old, and and not a whole lot of things uh, impress us anymore, right? It feels so weird. Or the opposite, where you get impressed by things that are like normal, like nature, right? Like yes. a thunderstorm. You're like, oh, la verga, it's thunderstorming. So. I don't know if you can appreciate it, but I'm going to send you a couple pictures, right? Okay. Speaking of Resident Evil and creepy shit, right? Oh, oh fuck. After I came back from the Thanksgiving thing, right? I'm uh-huh. dog sitting my, my previous mentioned cousins. The wolf? Fucking wolf, right? And I have a park right outside my house. So you can what see, the you can see the, fuck? You can see these pictures on, on, the, on, the, on, the, on the YouTubes, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, and I'm going to put a side-by-side of how it looks during the day so you guys have a frame of reference. The the when I go outside, bro, the fog on this son of a bitch, you can't you can't appreciate it on the picture. Feels like a PlayStation One game, but it felt like Silent Hill. I couldn't see the Dick? Oxo from my house. A la verga, way, and, and that's, that's like, like the corner. Well, how many like twenty, thirty feet from your house? Yeah, and. <laughs> The dog guy do what the dog guy do. Mm-hmm. I walked in that shit. It was the scariest walk I've ever had in my life. Way. <laughs> I was terra fucking fied. I could you can't because you're walking into the fog, right? So it starts to get thicker and thicker and thicker until you're breathing it. 
So I was breathing oh, this shit, shit. And you can see less and less and less and less. And you start to hear shit and you can't see it. Oh, I was so fucking terrified. Oh, I do get that feeling. I was so fucking terrified. And then I heard I I heard like a like like there was like a wheel, like something turning, right? I'm like, what the fuck is that? Like, and you know, I'm a nerd, so all these mm-hmm. fucking thoughts are going through my head. Pyramid head, of course. Of course. Who else is going to be? Going to be, be fucking pyramid head dragging <laughs> its thing, right? And no, it was an old lady in a bike coming out of the fog. <laughs> I was like, you was fucking bitch. You scared the shit out of me. Wait. And mm-hmm. then I heard it again, and she came back because she was trying to go to Oxo, but the Oxo was closed. I was like, fuck, you got me twice. <laughs> I no mom is the fog was so thick that the 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 power lines or were, mm-hmm. were going way they were crackling they were crackling and I couldn't hear it because I couldn't see it and I didn't know what the fuck that was until I got to the edge and I could finally see the little sparks it was so fucking scary but so fucking fun <laughs> <laughs> you real no but you you had a companion with you oh yeah but she's she's a giant wolf but she don't do dick damn. She's. I got a. I'm baby. I'm dog sitting a dire wolf. Legit. I remember this one time. I I got off work late when I worked at the furniture store, and I went with some friends. I had some fun, and by let's say twelve thirty in the morning, it was like a uh, not a Saturday in the morning, uh, twelve thirty in the morning. And when I got to my ha- when I when the the cab dropped me off, mm-hmm. I, th- I I think I felt what you felt this time. You walked the dire wolf. Cause I couldn't see shit, like not even half, like yeah. I'm gonna say like 20 feet in the front of you, not that way. Yeah, it's one of those times where you actually feel like you're in a movie. Yeah, and I felt it, like you I was feel on a set. So, exactly, and you feel so vulnerable. Yes, because it's, it's like so weird. No one's gonna call cut or something if something's gonna happen. You know, no, if something happens, it happens, and you're fucked. So while I was there petrified, I was like, if I had to choose a setting, what would be the scariest setting to be in? Actually, oh my god! Actually, like in a movie, like what is the worst movie scenario to be trapped in? Because all I could think of was Silent Hill that whole time. Uh huh. Silent Hill. I'm fucking Silent Hill. I'm in Silent Hill. But is that the most terrible one to be in? Ah shit! It is kind of hard, but it does open the possibilities because for me. It's like the the worst thing is being in inside a house and you know there's something in the house with Bitch, you. Bitch, that's your childhood. What you fucking talking about? <laughs> that's why I'm scared of it. <laughs> that's your fucking childhood. Get the fuck <laughs> out of here. I knew there was something some things in the house because there were all shit ton of stuff. But I could never see them clearly. I saw like glimpses of them. Yeah, no. And it scared the ever living ever living bejesus out of my soul. Yeah, I was thinking Resident Evil. I was thinking like all this other shit is wild. Like you're all, you know, you're all fucking high and mighty and tough until a little fog comes around. You're like, (laughs) 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 hurry up and take a shit. Gotta go. And and you're you're like masking it off with like it's cold. Come on, but no, you're you're shivering because you're scared. No, like it was that that heart feel fear that you feel it on your chest and your stomach. You're like. La verga, we. It was terrifying. It was fucking that terrifying. Visceral fear. Like, when was the last time as a grown ass man you've been scared away? Not scared that, oh, I dropped my phone. Did that crack the screen? Or did my fucking video game file not save? Or, you know, oh shit, I almost got run over. Like, legit afraid of your life. When was the last time you felt that? I don't know, man. It's been a while. It's been a fucking minute. Yeah. But I, but I get why people love to get scared now, kind of. Because I feel like they're chasing that rush. And it's weird because as you grow older, different shit scares you. Yeah. It's, and it's not the same as you were younger. No. First it's like clowns. And now it's like taxes. Oh, yeah. You're like, fuck. You know? Like the rent. Jesus Christ. The fuck, rent. not the right. It's the first. Fuck. <laughs> no. <laughs> and guess what? It's going to happen again next month. You're fucked. Exactly. No. I got to no. pay the internet bill. Oh, shit. I'm hungry. I want Uber Eats. But I can't fucking afford it. Yeah, it's wild. But that fog was scary as fuck. No, it, going at, down the snow, um, being out at night late with no internet data. Yeah, yeah, no. I didn't have a phone or nothing either. So I, I, I took that picture from inside the gate because I was so scared. 
Oh, wow. Like, I stuck the the, the, <laughs> the phone up against the holes to take the picture. Damn, dude. What yeah. the fuck? I was terrified, <laughs> Way. I was scared. I mean, you're not living in the ghetto, so you're not going to get mugged or something. Yeah, and that reminds me that mom, one time my mom was such a G, she drove through even worse fog like that. It was like New Neta? Year's Day. Yeah, from my auntie's. Mm. We couldn't see the hood of the car. And I don't know how the fuck. She was, we, we were fucking, she, it was her. It was on her. She's fucking dumb as fuck for for driving that day with us but she got you through it a lot she got us home like a, like and it's like mexico way. it's not like oh you just go on the street way and go straight no it's like twists and turns y la verga. up you and know, down and- up and down up the hill down the, she got us fucking home i don't know how but that was wild that was the first thing i also thought of that was crazy <laughs> you're like ma straight up you rule <laughs> yeah uh so i'm not gonna do like a full ass review of this movie but i just wanted to mention it because it was so weird what um i had never seen lemony snicket <gasps> really i've never seen that movie before no, my man. obviously heard of it uh-huh. like i've seen bits and pieces of it uh-huh and i thought this would be fun to share for you guys on the pod so this is what i thought lemony snicket was right okay okay basically despicable me no, Mom is I thought this, I thought it was literally that. Like th- th- these orphans, these kids end up orphan, and then Jim Carrey adopts them and hates them, and eventually they they come together for a greater good, and everybody loves each other, and tan tan. Mm-hmm. I was so fucking wrong. Sequel. <laughs> <laughs> I was the wrongest of the wrong. <laughs> I wasn't it? even close. And the, the the more time passes, the the darker that movie gets. Yes. I was like, okay. So he tried to kill the kids and he runs away. And then after it's like, killing the parents. Yeah, yeah. After killing the parents that you don't figure out until the end. But it's like, oh, 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 he's back to do it again. Oh, and then again, and then again, and then again. I was like, yo, this is not what I thought. Like, I thought Jim Carrey was like a good guy. He's the baddest of the bad guys. Yes. There's and so he's many a people in this movie. Royal too. asshole. Yeah. Did somebody what? There's so many people in this. Oh yes. Jude Law is the voice of Lemony Snicket at the end. Mm-hmm. Catherine O'Hara is 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 the neighbor. The the judge. The judge is uh who's the judge? It's her. The judge. Yeah, she's a judge. Oh yeah, Justice Strauss. Uh-huh. Meryl Streep is one of the aunties. Yep, you got Billy Connolly uh, hanging in there. Luis Guzman is one of the fucking henchmen. Craig Ferguson is another henchman. Oh, <laughs> see, see. <laughs> Jennifer Coolidge is another fucking Coolidge is another henchman. Was uh, is is uh Ferguson the one with the with the dress? Yeah. Oh yeah, that's gold. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and Jim Carrey is Jim Carrey. I was just so off, you know. Uh huh. I don't know. I think I, I think I didn't feel good. And it was one of those days where you're like, I'm just going to watch a movie and shut my brain off. Mm-hmm. But then I had that, th- that, that thought that is like, okay, it's going to be like Despicable Me. And then it's not. No, hell no. But I Far really, from it. I really, really love the setting. Like it's super it creepy is weird. and goofy. And like, I really love the setting. It, it's but, quirky, but it's also very dark. It's, it's Tim Burton-esque, but it's not Tim Burton at all. Yeah, I, for the longest time, I thought it was Tim Burton. No, he's not directing it. He's not produced. He's nowhere near this thing. I'm looking. I don't see him. And the cool thing is that it's full of color. Yeah. I like this colorful. I mean, it's, it's depressing dark. gray. Oh, yes. But there's uh, when they go to Billy Connolly's house and yeah. uh, like with the with the snakes and shit. Yeah. It's color was up the wazoo. How many times did you see it? Because you didn't know I was going to talk about this. And you're like mentioning scene by scene shit. How many times have you seen this movie? Oh, upwards of 10. Neta, why? I don't know. I liked it so much. Really? I mean, and, I, and, and I'm talking about way back when. I didn't even liked remember. it like that. I, I just No, I, I thought it was okay. I was just so taken aback as to how, how far off I was on what it was, uh, what I thought it was. No, my mom the last time I saw it was like, what, six, seven years ago? Yeah. And I still remember shit. It's weird because Dream Carry's trying to marry that girl. I was like, what the fuck is going on? Like, again, think. And she was underage, right? Of course. In but my he head, was the guardian. Oh, he was a guardian. He's supposed to be the guardian. And like, in my head, again, 
in my head, Jim Carrey is going to be his her daddy, and then in this shit, he's trying to kill her. So I was like, so fucking weird, mm-hmm. you know. And that's how I don't know. Is that on us? Is that on me for thinking that, or is that on like the marketing? Of- oh, that's on you. Really? Because that's what I got from all these, all these, all these marketings. Really? And everything I've yeah. I mean, where how else would I would come up with that story if not taking the marketing and what I've heard? I would have seen from it, you know? Like, I thought Lemony Snicket was Jim Carrey's character. Oh, me too. I made that mistake. But no, he's the writer of the stories. So you think that that's on me? Timothy Spall is Mr. Poe, a.k.a. the rat guy from Kirk, from Harry Potter, the rat? Simon. Uh, let's get off the fucking cast because we all do this. So is that on me for thinking that? Or is that like on the marketing or what what they're presenting? And that's how I interpreted it. As. No, I think uh, that's on you because I when I saw the, the trailers, I never thought that. I knew Jim Carrey was kind of a shady character. Mm-hmm. That was about it until I saw the movie and loved it. I never knew but, he was going to be the bad guy. That's the thing. As creepy oh, yeah. and fucked up as he looked. He, he looks like looks, a bad guy. Oh, yes, completely. And he looked... He looks way longer than he actually is. Yeah. Like creepy long. Like yeah. anime long. Yeah, even on the poster, he looks really, really weird. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I thought it was cute. Um, I thought it was all right. Did you know there's like a, a new one on Netflix? Have you seen that? Yeah. Uh, Neil Patrick Harris is Count Olaf. Ooh, I might check that out. Yeah, I wanted to check it out when it came out, but I forgot about it. Like, Dead ass forgot about it. I think it. I'm gonna add it to the list. Because So you I did mean, like the movie. I mean I give it a seven seven point five. I was more curious as the as the world that it established than the actual story. Oh yeah. You know? It is interesting, like the conspiracy side of it. The whole thing is just it's just it's just very, very dark but colorful at the same time and, and like depressing but charming is weird. When I looked That's- at the, the aesthetics make me feel weird and fuzzy. Mm-hmm. And that's what I liked. The story is whatever. He's trying to kill the kids, and there's all these different scenarios, and these they keep going down the line of their fucking family tree until it gets really, really crazy. Mm-hmm. It's just not at all what I thought it was. <laughs> so it did a complete 180 on you. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I, I did think, like, is that on me for thinking on that, or is it on this fucking... Well, it's also been a minute since I've seen a trailer for that movie or seen any pro- kind of promotion or promotional yeah content th- i've seen i've seen in the wild i think i've seen no i think that's a lie i don't know because i'm in my collecting phase and remember I've, I've said that like uh video game movies are bullshit mm-hmm. yes well now i kind of want to collect all the video game movies oh stay away <laughs> but the ones that i like though you're going through a rabbit rabbit hole through rabbit hole in my mouth. Yeah. Never gonna the, come out. It's the rabbitest of holes. And I've seen that game a lot. So I'm trying to figure out do I like enough to play the game? I think I do. I think I like the world enough to play the game. Mm. I like the cover art on it. It's like the white and he's like doing this shit. I like uh-huh. the cover art. I think it's a cool collector's piece. It is. It is interesting. Yeah. I'm a I'm a weirdo though. As we <laughs> you think like i was also thinking like because you've been full like you haven't stopped since the pandy you didn't stop going to the theater right uh i mean Not really. the only time i stopped was when it was closed which That's was about what it. like a month oh hell no it was like five months okay because my girl kept going to work but didn't do shit Stupid. and then for like three or four months she was "Quote unquote," working from home, but she 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 was still getting paid. She was attending <laughs> virtual uh, like meetings and shit, but she didn't Bullshit. do diddly squat. So let's say I I, I stopped going through to the movies for like five six months because I mean I I've been I've been picking and choosing probably since Shang Chi, which has been what a couple months now. Yeah, I've seen like probably three or four movies in the theater since. Oh my god, I've seen. Way more than that. Right. All right. The second those bitches opened up, you've been going. Oh, hell yeah. You even got COVID. And then you got, you got, like, I think, I feel like you got in the theater or something, but 
you were still going. Like you didn't get, you didn't stop. COVID didn't I, stop I, I, I didn't get it in the theater. I got yeah, it on the you street. Don't, you don't know where you got it. I've been on the street. I've never quarantined. And that's not on me. That's on my jobs. Point being, I I I straight up did not go to the theater for over a year and a half. Yes, you didn't. And you were going crazy. I so this so but really at first. Not not even. I was more missing out on the fact of the movie factor, you know? Mm-hmm. I was missing out on the specific movies. I didn't think that the that the movie experience was such a big deal until this past week I went to go see um Resident Evil, right? Mm-hmm. And you know that there's like a a split second or there's like a second or two, maybe even three of pure silence between the end of the commercials and the start of the movie and the start of the movie. Yes. I miss that silence. <laughs> Meta? Yes. And I especially love it when it was like, oh, sit there, sit your ass on Cinepolis and be a good boy and watch the movie, right? Ding, 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 ding. And then here's the two seconds start. And you can hear rustling of the popcorn. Oh, yes. You hear like. Like like the mumble, like people mumbling and shit. You're like. <laughs> and then the movie starts. I miss mm-hmm. those three seconds. <laughs> <laughs> I missed those three seconds of it. And you never thought of it? I never thought of it were, until this past moment. week. I was like, yeah, I missed that. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't that's care about That's the weirdest th- thing to miss. Isn't it? I saw, I, that's why I made a note of it because I was like, I felt, I felt fuzzy. Like, oh, fuck, I missed Like, I literally missed it. Wait, like, I felt it in my bones. I was like, I missed that. I fucking mm-hmm. missed that. It's the weirdest thing to miss. You would never expect that. Like, so if I were to ask you, what's the, what did you, those five months you didn't go to the theater, what did you miss? Probably the sound quality, the, the fucking size of the screen. Yeah. Basically that. <sighs> no, I missed the rustling of the popcorn and people stuffing their face with the popcorn and nachos Holy and shit, shit for two seconds. That's so interesting. Now, now, <laughs> leave a comment down below if you guys notice that shit now. <laughs> Because <laughs> no I do that shit now that I point stuff out that nobody else sees and I ruin it for them. Like I've done it for podcasts and shit. They don't tell my watch or shit. I'd be like, I hate this. And he's like, oh, fuck. Now I hate that guy too. <laughs> <laughs> so shout outs if you guys fucking know what the fuck I'm talking about. And shout outs to you again if you if you figure it out now. I love you that. You son of a bitch. I, I, just, I love it. Next time you're going to go, that's the first thing you're going you're gonna, to not, not even think about it, but it's going to happen. You're going to be like, oh, I know what the fuck he's talking about. Well, right now, it, it just all came to me, and I was I was thinking about it. And you and know, it, it, go ahead, <sighs> go ahead. And, and yeah, and it caught me off guard. It's yeah. like, it's a constant, and it's so interesting. And I was like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. I want to hear it again. And like for Resident Evil, there was literally two pairs of people, two couples. Other really? than us. So there was a total of six people for the whole thing, right? Mm-hmm. And if there's no people in the theater, I make it a point if I have popcorn to make a noise. Because I no, love sir. the noise so much. <laughs> Same way. And I feel like other people love the noise, so I make it for them too. <laughs> so you want to contribute to, the, AS- to contrib- the, 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 yeah. the movie ASMR? Yes. I'm contributing oh. to the <laughs> ASMR of the popcorn in the movie theater way. <laughs> Hi, I'm Edward. I have a problem. <laughs> That's so fucking funny. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, 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 I do it aggressively to make sure I make noise. Like, the <laughs> <laughs> and I go, <laughs> and I chew with my mouth open, and the movie starts, and I shut up. So, so fuck the silence. Yeah. That's what I missed. Because <laughs> I got a big screen. I got the lights. But the theater is an experience, right? Because it forces you to focus on one thing. Yes. And when you're at your house, you can open up the Insta and scroll through all the ass that goes through your feed or talk to somebody or dick around or whatever, or pause, go take a piss and whatever the fuck you write, you know, in the theater, everybody's hyper focused on one thing. Mm-hmm. So I guess that's why some people like it more like to go to the theater more because it's a whole experience it is a whole experience the going the getting there the standing in line for the shit the wa- the walking through the mar- looking at the marquee it's an experience mm-hmm. and 
I, I guess I took it for granted. I don't know. We were going so often too that I also felt burnt out. We went to go see Bloodshot. That was the last fucking movie I saw in the theater before COVID. Oh, that was Bloodshot. You know what I'm talking about? Good for fucking <sighs> you, Bloodshot. That was terrible. That that was like the the worst the worst thing to have in your palate before the, a quarantine. The worst. It was the worst. <laughs> oh my god. It was so bad. I forgot about that movie. Wait, I don't. Because you kept going, cabron. <laughs> what? Because you kept going to the theater, cabron. That's why you that, forgot about I mean, it. R- regardless of me going to the theater, it was so bad that I forgot about it. I've seen bad movies. We're going to get into that when we talk about uh, Resident mm-hmm. Evil. Mm-hmm. But, but they, they, some of them are memorable but, but memorable, but some of them just wash out of my mind like a bad diarrhea. Yeah. I forget why I hated the movie so much, but I don't forget that that was the last one I saw. <laughs> well, you the, the the reason you hate the movies is because of the the, the time we went to see Brightburn. Yeah. That's the That was the worst that, experience. That's yeah, the thing too. Mine too. That's the that's the thing too. Like you're subjecting yourself to people fucking up your good time. Mhm. You know? And more even now when you get people like me dissing the fucking movie while what watching the it? room uh, yeah <laughs> yeah me and crazy guy uh, we were talking i was like crazy guy, is that the guy who i think it is like no it's th- that guy's supposed to be black but he's not in here and i was like what the fuck's going on he's like yeah 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 it, it, yeah, it was a mess and I, I was like oh shit there's more people in here i better chill but i, I wasn't giving a fuck like, crazy guy is that the guy no he was supposed to, that's supposed to be in three but there's no three i was like what mm-hmm. yeah yep Yep. It's like, what is that twin? Oh, that's from the Veronica. I'm like, oh, okay, crazy. I okay. get crazy guy. I get him. Oh, yeah. yeah, he was he was mad pissed. <laughs> um, that makes two of us. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, hopefully, the theaters don't don't ever go away. I've, have you ever been to a driving theater? Uh, yes. Have as a matter been, of fact, I've never been to that. It is an interesting experience because the time I went, I went to see. Beauty and the Beast, the one with Emma Watson. And uh, had you seen it before? No. Okay. That was my first time watching it, but it is. I, I I'm gonna say that I do like it better because the fact that you're not in you're in a theater. You're enclosed in your own little capsule. Exactly. Yeah. And can and you see in, everything? No, nothing's in the way. No, nothing is in the way. There's no cars nothing. in the way or nothing, and you can see nope. good out of the car. Yes. What? word is there one around here i feel like there is right uh, the yeah park? i don't know if it's still on but there wasn't the the uh Parque de la Amistad. Yeah, yeah that's the one i went to yeah that's also another one near macro plaza yeah i've never seen that one but it the, the that experience i loved it and when i remember when i started uh watching riverdale mm. like the first season uh they they i mean the hang their hangout was a uh, the driving theater. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I and, and and in my head I always romanticized that. And when I went, it kind of crumbled a little bit because mm. I didn't I I didn't go with like the hanging out part. I mean I went with a lady. Yeah. yeah so yeah. so it was interesting. So but your pants the, were off. Oh no, they were on because we had a family right beside us. <laughs> oh fuck. So we couldn't get jiggy with it with 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 Mrs. Senora looking at her daughter breastfeeding her and then looking at us and i was like oh man jesus christ nice but the the whole experience and the feeling you get of from being enclosed in the car encapsulated in that space but you see this giant ass theater and you know you're not alone it is a strange but different feeling that is is like fun it's kind of warm it's it feels safe but it also feels f- kind of liberating it's what, so strange what, it was do you have to tune into a radio station for the audio yes okay yeah so i feel and i remember i don't remember who i was talking to about this but they that person did not believe me for the life of it and then i had to look it up online didn't believe what that it that it was a radio the, station yeah that you had to oh. tune into a radio station well yeah i mean you're not gonna have giant speakers and have everybody listen it's not the 50s right but you'll just have kids climbing trees and look out over the fence to see what the injures have free movies exactly and the 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 cool thing is well the the fun thing about that was 
when I uh, dismantle her whole argument and how that wasn't possible, she was deeply ashamed. And I was like, okay, you, you shouldn't. Yeah, I mean, she, she didn't realize how, how, how dumb she sounded until. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Y- yes. <laughs> there's, a, there's a giant drive-in theater on the, that you can see off the freeway, like on the way to Carlsbad. And especially, you could, yeah, you can especially see it at night. It's kind of fun to t- to look because they have like three or four screens, you know, and it's usually like a, a kitty. Like they'll have James Bond on one side and then like, like Encanto on the other one. Oh, so, wait. <laughs> so you have like the crazy like Kung Fu Panda and then it's like Saw or something. Like it's oh, kind of funny. Mommy. It's kind of funny to see two polar opposites in the same thing. It's kind of interesting. <laughs> I just, I've just never done that. I feel like I, I. I want. I want. I'm down. I'm trying. But well, yeah, you you should. Where you should. But what what you know like there's like oh we call movie theater worthy. Mm-hmm. What is the best movie to watch in a drive-in theater? Oh, shit, a rom com with the girl. That's a good fucking question. Way or do you want to watch like a Fast and Furious because you're in a car? Or do you want to watch something kind of dangerous? scary? Like what's the what's the best kind of movie? I think it's. Personally, I think I would go the scary route and not just because I'm like a fan of horror. Yeah. But because since, again, you are enclosed in this area, you feel safer. Mm -hmm. But since you're exposed in a way, you do feel like the the chills and the like, oh, what? Because it is dangerous. I mean, bottom line, it is dangerous because you can get mugged in the theater. Mm Mm-hmm. When you think about it, mm-hmm. but it is a different kind of feeling, yeah. and I think the driving theaters are perfect for horror movies and romance. But uh, it is hard to tiptoe around that line because babies get made during those movies yeah, in the I public. It was a big thing. I wonder when driving theaters even started, because that's a crazy idea. Way imagine coming up to somebody and be like, "Okay, so you know movie theaters? Let's mm-hmm. put them outside." for cars You're like bob sit your stupid drunken ass <laughs> down way what the fuck I love stupid that you went way? With bob fucking bob's tired go sit down way what is wrong with you <laughs> what go eat some crayons go fucking get the crayons out of your nose bob go fucking sit down <laughs> god stop looking in the window for god's <laughs> sake bob <laughs> And Bob thought we thought goes home to his wife and he's like, Did you tell him? He's like, I told them, but they laughed at me. Ah, don't worry, Bob. You're gonna make it, Bob. Y- and he makes it. Yet Pinchy Bob is still <laughs> hanging on there. <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> Fucking Bob. Fucking that, Bob. That's wait. a crazy idea though. It is crazy. What but I tra- love it. What would be the drive-in theaters of the future? VR, I guess. Yeah. But do we have movies it, in VR yet? No. No, no, not yet. I mean, you got Full porn in VR. movies. But, I mean, yeah. How, what the fuck? How did porn beat us? How can I Wait, watch fucking porn? Porn does everything first. I've told you this. The, the, every every format we have is because porn adopted it. That's wild. How can I see a blowjob in fucking in VR, but I can't see the Matrix in VR? Even though there's Use no, a there, flashlight. There's going to be a... Oh, it's going to be 4D. There's gonna be like a, a a a matrix experience in VR, but that's not that's not the whole movie. No, I don't think so. That's wild that that's not happened yet. And with a matrix of all movies, right? Any of it? What movie would you want to do in VR? Oh fuck! Hardcore Henry. Ooh, yeah, that would be amazing. That's the best one. Yes, that, I, with the I perfect win. one. I win. I guess how would you do it in VR? That's the bigger pr- that's the bigger thing. Cuz what we're it, talking about is the, it's filmed in first person. The blows, you feel me? Yeah. How w- how would you do VR Spider-Man? You are Spider-Man like it, the whole thing would have to be I guess it doesn't make sense. I guess I just turned into your friend that didn't realize how stupid the thing was until I explained it. <laughs> <laughs> you became I, the thing you swore I, to destroy. I, I, I deep in deja fired myself. <laughs> With the fucking explanation. <laughs> it's like, don't look like this fucking first person, you fuck. I'm like, oh. I love that you made a term out of it. I just became Bob. Oh, fuck. I'm Bob. <laughs> yeah, no way. I'm Bob. In a span of five minutes. <laughs> Two seconds, I became Bob. <laughs> fuck. 
I thought I was a genius. <laughs> I thought I was coming with great things. And no, it's because it's not filmed in the first person. <laughs> Pendejo. 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 Oh, pues my sí, God. Un pendejo. Um, but speaking of Spidey, you seen this bullshit with the scalpers? Uh, No. What happened? Please do tell. So tickets for the Spider-Man movie are worse than this are harder to get than a damn PlayStation 5 now. Are you serious? Yeah. Scalpers well, are selling up. Selling them for up to twenty five hundred dollars, twenty five thousand dollars. No, that no, no. You can't. What you're fucking lying. No, scalpers are selling Spider Man No Way Home tickets for as high as twenty five thousand dollars. They are selling them for that high, whether or not they're actually paying. Somebody's paying for that. No, no. That's the price you're going through. Mm-hmm. It is incredibly insane, the FOMO that's hitting everybody right now. My girl sent us pictures some fr- because my friends my friend said, hey, could you get us some tickets? And she was like, okay, let me see what I can do. Yeah. And she got us the tickets. But the lines for the, like the pre-sale? Yep. Holy shit. Not even Endgame was this. Like the lines were, for Endgame were never this long. Well, funny you say that because... Th- the Spider-Man No Way Home gets biggest ticket pre-sales since Endgame. The first day pre-sales for Spider-Man No Way Home tickets on Fandango are now the highest the service has seen since Avengers Endgame in 2019, beating out pre-pandemic films like Red Sky, The Rise of Red of Skywalker, and even Far From Home. So it's beating out Endgame in terms of sales. Going to back this this fucking last this the, the, this uh movie theater experience with crazy guy was crazy, so I was trying to buy my ticket to go see that, and I was in line with a bunch of people. And mm. It was a Monday night. I was like, "What the fuck?" Everybody was buying Spider Man tickets. Yep, all of them. I was like, "What the fuck is this line for?" And they're like, "Can you get Spider Man?" And it kind of me it, it kind of pissed me off. Why? Because I'm. Okay, I was judging these people. All right, mm-hmm. fuck you. That's what I do. I was, <laughs> I was, I was judging these people, and I was like, "Really, you, you want to see Spider Man on opening day? You, okay? It's just like people that I would never ever imagine would have the urge to go see Spider Man on the fucking opening day. I'm a diehard Spider Man guy. Mm-hmm. I don't want to go through that hell. Okay. Yep. I get it, but really you want to go see i was uh, i was just shook and amazed at the different like old old like old moms buying tickets and like you want to go see spider-man on date like you know there's other days right it's wild i know i'm gonna go through my own hell of thursday friday saturday and sunday i might have to not touch my phone i get that part Dude, I got tickets for the Wednesday. The day comes out. And it's crazy. But the craziest part is that the dudes from the movie theater, they said, they, they, <laughs> my girl told me that they said they don't care if the movie, like the movie hard drive comes at 1.30 in the morning. They want to stay and watch the fucking movie before anybody. What do you mean? How? Before anybody? Yes. So... Normally, uh, in the theater, they get like uh, in movie Mexico, night. For, in Mexico, in Mexico. In Mexico, yes. They get like movie night for the workers. So one, one, um, like a, on a random Thursday or Saturday night, there's like a screening, a special screening for the workers there. The week they can before? Break, no, sometimes after even. Oh. But they said that they want a, like a private screening of, of, of Spider Man, and the like. The the supervisor said, "Sure, I mean, if you're up to waiting until two in the morning, sure." But the, the a couple of days before, no, 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 like, after, no, like Tuesday. I'm talking about Tuesday, right? A day before, exactly, and <laughs> not even a day, hours. Yeah. So they're willing to not sleep, which is something I can't not abide by right now because I'm an old man. Well, that's what you're going to do. What are you talking about? 
Oh no, I'm not. No, that went. I mean, there's no midnight screening for this movie. I'm going to go at nine o'clock with everybody else. Oh, it's the nine o'clock on Thursday on Wednesday. Yeah. So mm. my girl Still. and her peeps at the theater are going to watch it early morning after. On, yeah. After you. No, before me. God damn, so confusing. The day before at one o'clock. So they're gonna yeah so tuesday they're gonna stay tuesday night they're gonna receive wednesday after midnight they're gonna watch the fucking movie and then on wednesday the movie's gonna be released to the masses normal times no midnight screening allegedly they're still messing with the movie <clears throat> you are you that? seriously shitting me that's what ign said i don't know if it was a joke or not are but you they're, shitting on my dick they're still allegedly they're still messing with some of the vr I mean VR, the FX. Oh my god! So not <laughs> less, not cats way, not no. I don't know. No, I let's, mean, I, I was going to say how much VR is there, but uh, 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 FX it's a way so VR. I know. I'm still thinking of the VR point. <clears throat> I was thinking like how much <laughs> FX could there actually be, but there is actually a shit ton. Well, the whole movie way. Well, we already know that the whole trailer is a lie. Mm-hmm. So they're gonna actually do the right thing or whatever or whatever was supposed to be i just don't have that need you know if it wasn't for people i could probably go another month without seeing it but people are going to be spoiling it and i'm gonna see some bullshit online that's going to spoil the end credit or spoil the big reveal or somebody's going to take a picture of fucking andrew garfield that's part man and fuck me i have to hold out Till Monday. Man, I got wait, that's a whole week. Wait, I'm not gonna cram myself in a fucking theater with a bunch of little snazzy little kids way. Or or grown ass people making noise and cheering in the theater. I'd rather fucking wait. I'd rather go a Monday at two o'clock in the afternoon where me and Bubbles have the whole fucking theater to ourselves and watch it away. Or I'm you going can go on comfort. a or you can go on a Wednesday and use the free shit I got. What free shit? What are you talking about? I got free. Uh, let's talk about this off it because I got free free entry. So you, you, if you want, you you just don't have to pay. On opening day? No, no, no. a week after. Oh, what's well, the same thing? <laughs> yeah, but you don't have to pay. I mean, I'm you, paying twenty pesos. <laughs> but twenty pesos or nothing. What you can save those twenty pesos for a video game on the Swamitio. True, we'll figure it out. But my point <laughs> is, I have to hold out. I have to hold the fort for those three days. And it's going to be excruciating because the internet is going to go crazy. Luckily, I know. Luckily, it's my birthday weekend, so I might be a little distracted. Maybe, maybe. Might be a little distracted. Mm-hmm. So that that's a good, that's a plus, you know? But mm-hmm. the Chargers play the, that Thursday that, that, they, that they're supposed to be, that the movie comes out. So I'm going to be distracted. And if mm-hmm. they win or lose, I'm going to be either really, really happy or really, really sad this Friday. <laughs> You so know, good birthday weekend, good hope, expectations. Hopefully, if these fuckers win, but <laughs> yeah, I, it's just baffling. Like, it's just people that I didn't believe that would give a shit about Spider Man or like in line for Spider Man. And I was just like, okay, really? Well, you? again, fear missing Adway. It's like uh, it's gonna. It's the end thing. It's the the most. It's, I th- yeah, I would dare to say it's the biggest event of the year. Yeah, it's 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 more of a after Cowboy Bebop, of course. <laughs> I can listen, listen to Felix to and I just yell at Cowboy <laughs> Bebop for an hour on the. That was the last thing I posted, but go, go check that out. It was actually really fun to do. But anyway, yeah, I I guess Spider Man is more like a social event where people who don't even watch movies or Marvel movies like that come around. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean. Yeah, it's it's more. Uh, it's, it's more of like, a, like a audience. fad. It's more of a fad than yeah. a fandom. You know, it's more like oh, it's like it's like cool. It's like hip to be like I saw the Spider Man movie. Yeah, bitch. But who are, who are the other two Spider Mans? I don't know. I never seen them. Like that kind of shit. Mm-hmm. That annoys me. Fake fans invading my shit is what I don't <laughs> like. Okay. Do I want the whole theater to myself on opening day? Yeah. Okay. But it can all be it can't all be Resident Evil. 
Okay. I mean, you can do that. It's going to cost you a pretty penny, but you can do that. Not even. I heard it's fucking relatively cheap. Uh, Yeah, actually. Uh, But regardless of what's going to happen, we are, what, less than two weeks away from fucking Spidey. Mm-hmm. It's the big, yeah, it's it's easily the biggest mov- movie of the year. Easily. Yeah. Easy. That's Easy. what we've seen from the MCU lately. Easy. Have you seen any other Hawkeye? Yeah. <gasps> oh, I don't like how you said that. Yeah. Are those first two episodes really that bad? It's not bad. It's just disappointing. Ooh, no, shit. Well, three episodes because the last one came came in uh, I know, yesterday. but it, came, it started with two, no? Yep. It threw two on Thanksgiving weekend. Yeah. Shit. Yep. What? We're halfway the series right now. It's only six episodes? Yep. Oh, that's cool. Uh, what about the Home Alone series? Fuck that shit. <laughs> Boss actually sent me something really cool. I think I... What? I, 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 I think I... Did you watch it? it? No, 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 no. Oh. It was like, you can stay at the OG Home Alone house for $25 and Airbnb a day. Net the, that's fucking cheap. Isn't that fucking wild? Yes. Wouldn't you do that? Of course. Isn't that fucking fun? In a heartbeat. Didn't you always wanted to fucking be in that fucking gigantic beautiful oh, house? Definitely. Just not with the tarantula, but definitely, yeah. <laughs> Fuck it. Throw the tarantula in there. He, that fool can have a whole floor to himself, or he give him a whole room. That that house was so big. Oh yeah. For twenty five dollars a night, I would imagine that shit is booketh to fuck. Oh hell yeah. Is the mo- money on it? How 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 can I how? I think it's in Chicago. Damn. How 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 can I do that? Imagine spending a fucking Christmas there, way. Oh, that'd be the best. Snow outside. Oh. You have Home Alone playing. Oh, how beautiful man. and amazing does that sound, dog? That'd be the perfect thing. That'd be the dream. I'm sure it's already booked. I'm, it has to be. It oh, fucking yeah. has to be. It has T-way. to be booked. How is it not? It was the same house for both movies, right? Yep. I didn't make that up. No, no, no. It's the same thing. I got to find that anyway. Yeah, you can Airbnb the home of Home Alone for $25. You can live your own Home Alone dream by renting out the famed McAllister home. It's currently listed for $25 a night in the Chicago suburb of Winnetka. Winnetka? Winnetka. Simone, it'll be decorated just in time for <laughs> Christmas. All decorated too? Oh, shit. Fuck. This picture makes it look smaller than it did in the movie, of course. That's magical. Oh, I put booby traps and invite people over. You sick fuck. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be amazing, bae. <laughs> I reiterate, you sick fuck. <laughs> I'd be sick. Anyway. And me going, hey, Felix, coming in. Oh, hey, Eddie, how you doing? Boom. Paint can to the face. Fire in your bald spot. <sighs> you created my bald spot. I'm going to be with my kids. You know how I got this? Your fucking asshole Uncle Edward just burned my face off. Is Home Alone? Torture? Yes. Is that the best? Hmm. I guess we can save it for the Christmas episode, but is that the movie that transcends time? Yes. You can show oh, it to anybody, down, yes. right? Uh huh. Because it's a wonderful life. It's in black and white. It's a little boring. You, you have to give a shit, right? You can't play that to a little kid and he's going to give a shit. Home Alone, you could show it to a little baby, your kid, Not, or dad, or mm-hmm. whatever, mom, whatever the fuck. And, and the, the way other, they made movies but way back in the day was different as well. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's more engaging. Like you, you, It hits at you from any side. Mm-hmm. I feel like Home Alone is the, well, we'll, we'll come around that, but uh, with more content here, follow uh, along with the Resident Evil review, a bunch of shit. Stay, t- stay tuned to the channel. Mm-hmm. We got uh, well, Felix and I <laughs> recorded a review roundup, but it went a little too much, so I had to split it. <laughs> oh, shit. So I, I only got the Cowboy Bebop up right now. There's still a whole other half hour that I that is not <laughs> uploaded yet because I cut it. <laughs> but that's coming this next, this week. And mm-hmm. then the next two weeks will be another review roundup split up along with uh, probably a birthday episode and some other bullshit. We'll see. Nice. Maybe Felix and I review Spider-Man. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We Looking got forward stuff to coming. It. 
uh, all this here in the channel. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe on the YouTube. Follow us on the Insta at Geeks, and Joysticks, and also on the Facebook page. You can follow me personally at Erprazes, P A U R A Z A S. You can follow my ghostly friend at Jafel91, as well in the Audio Realm, Geeks, Flicks, and Joysticks, Spotify, Stitcher, iVox, wherever you find your shit. Uh, anything you want to say to the beautiful people, Felix? When you go to the theaters, don't be an ass, but if you can, eat it. But much a bunch, but make sure it's in between those three seconds of the the. Oh, imagine the sound! Oh my god, that's so fucking nasty. I love it. <laughs> oh, it's in forever you do you. Bye. You you're gonna listen to. Ew 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 ew. And then ew, and, ew. And, and no 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 wait 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 and then. A... Ew ew ew. If the person loves you, she's gonna fart in your mouth. Ew 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 ew. <laughs> <laughs> you're so foul. You're so fucking foul.